Hey guys, it's Simone on the microphone, um, and I wanted to do a story time. Uh, so I um, am getting ready for bed, wanted to do a face mask, and I was like, you know what, let's share a story today. Um, so today I actually want to talk about um, my orientation for college. Um, so let's see, it was a few years ago, um, and uh, I was going for orientation. I was still 17 years old and I was so excited um, to be going. And uh, my um, mom actually wanted to come with me. Um, so basically it was like a two or two day, one night thing. So um, all the people or all the students that went to orientation had to stay the night in one of the residence halls on campus. Um, and so, you know, I was super excited. Um, I stayed the night there. I actually got my own room and I was kind of bummed about that because I wanted to share just because I'd been looking forward to, uh, college, um, you know, just really excited who wasn't when they were going to be a freshman. Um, so I actually got my own room and I was kind of bummed out, uh, but it ended up working out well, you know, I can't complain too much about it. Um, but anyway, so, um, let's see here. Uh, on the second day there is a like a ceremony kind of thing. It's not um, super formal or anything like that. It's just a ceremony where the parents and the orientation students can go. Um, probably, I think we ate lunch. Um, and we also, they gave out prizes, um, just different things. Um, and so I remember sitting at a table with my orientation leader um, and you know, all the other kids in my group. So there's probably maybe 10 or 15 of us in the group. Um, and we're so we were divided by majors so I was in the psychology group because um, I was gonna be my major uh, and um, I just remember sitting at the table with them kind of talking you know you kind of get to know each other I ended up being a few uh, friends with a few people from orientation not my group but from orientation um, but we were sitting there as we were sitting at this table you know there's round tables and the it, it's a big banquet room um, it's pretty full of round tables with parents and students. Um, we were done eating, I assume, I can't quite remember all the details, and it was time to kind of give out prizes. Um, and so they, all the parents that came were in a bucket, um, like a ticket for each parent, and you could pull them out of a hat and like draw them and just like read the name. Um, and so I remember thinking to myself, I don't want my mom to win. I don't want my mom to win. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, I didn't really want to stand up in front of, you know, so there's like 100, 150 to 200 people at an orientation. Um, and so I just, I, you know, I'm not shy, but I'm just a person who doesn't like attention in front of a whole bunch of people. Um, and so I just remember, just I don't want my mom to get called. I don't want my mom to get called, you know. And uh, I was telling my, um, the people in my group, I was like, I don't want to get called. Um, and the prizes were not even that cool. They were like mugs with the college name on it with like condoms and mints because there was a condiment program at the school for like, you know, practicing safe sex. Um, but anyway, so I think that was the prize. It was like maybe a, a mug with condoms and mints and maybe resources, a bookmark, something like that. Um, and just small various prizes and so I remember them calling out my mom's name and I was like <gasps> and so each student that had their parent called to the front had to go meet their parent and like like embrace so they like met up in the room and gave each other a hug you know embraced um and so I was like okay cool like hug my mom well my mom is just extra if you don't know her I love her but She's just hilarious. She's her own person. She just does what she wants. And so she like gave me the biggest hug you can give somebody, right? And then she popped her knee out of place in when she was giving me the hug. And we both fell to the ground in front of like 200 people. We just fall to the ground. And I was like, oh no, I knew something was going to happen. I just knew it was going to happen. I didn't know what it was, but I was like, I do not want to win a prize. <laughs> okay, so um, I immediately get back up, and I'm like, okay, we're good. And then I started to help my mom up, and um, she couldn't get up. So finally, like, I think I got her up, 
and maybe some people came to help um you know i was i was like slightly embarrassed but i also was like mom oh no you know like you just don't want that to happen but it happened so i was like okay well now i gotta help my mom um and so she couldn't walk so i managed to get her like over my shoulder like her arm over my shoulder i had to go all the way from the front of the room to the back of the room which i was sitting like two row or in the second row so my mom was sitting all the way at the end um which is probably like five rows but you know like she's limping and i have everyone just staring at me all eyes on me and my mom and we're just limping to the back of the room slowly she can barely walk and my mom's short so her steps are like small if she's limping um and so finally i got her back <laughs> to her table and i go back to my table and i'm just like chill no one knows you just just chill it's cool so finally after the award ceremony is done i'm like cool thank goodness i kind of like was like not you know i just kind of played it off you know what can you do if you're embarrassed if or if it's an embarrassing moment you can just play it off and so at the end of the like ceremony thing um we actually had to get some like of the college officials to bring one of their mules or what they're called they're like golf carts um so that we could they could take us to the parking structure and then immediately after orientation ended we spent hours in the emergency room um for my mom so that she could get her knee looked at because she couldn't walk um and she's a veteran so we did go to the um, va hospital um yeah and so that was my orientation session um or my my story that i wanted to share with you all um basically what i'm trying to say is embarrassing moments happen it's cool you can get over it people get over it um it's kind of funny though because uh that's one of the stories i would tell people um on campus like um when i was a resident advisor or when i was giving tours on campus i would just kind of be like yeah you know worse things can happen because they'd be like mom stop embarrassing me and i'm like oh you want to hear an embarrassing story this is one um so basically what i'm trying to say is it's not that big of a deal um but also i ended up having friends that i didn't know that day that happened to be in my in our orientation session that they were like oh that was you <laughs> and they remember it from their orientation session um, and it's just a funny story that they can laugh at. And I think it's hilarious that now I know people that I didn't know who ha who attended that same session and who laugh at that story. Because it is funny, like, when I think about it. It might have been embarrassing for the moment, but it's hilarious. It's like that moment in Lizzie McGuire, the Lizzie McGuire movie, when she walks across the stage and then she falls. I totally can relate with that. And I've always been able to relate with that um and that's kind of helped me to realize that you know things are not so bad um it's kind of a laugh off moment and it really was but i hope you enjoyed my embarrassing story um i just wanted to share that with you guys i have other stories plenty of stories that i want to share with you guys um you know as i continue to make videos but anyway uh definitely follow me hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate all of your guys' likes and subscriptions and I wanna be able to make more content. Um, and I just appreciate you guys watching my videos. So uh, like I said, click that subscribe button and you'll be able to uh, watch my videos when they come out and get that alert.